Hello everybody, Gavin Manford here, co-founder of TSA Mastery. In this video, I want to talk to you about a Gravatar, a globally recognized avatar. And what this actually does, most people have got this set up already, but if you're new to blogging, if you're new to commenting, you may not have a Gravatar set up. Now, if you look at this blog post here on the tsamastery.com blog, Underneath this, you'll see everybody who's left a comment. You'll see Lynn here has her profile or her avatar. You'll see Dave and Dawn Cook, they have their avatar. You'll see Joe Remington has his avatar. You'll see here Peter doesn't have his avatar. And you'll also see here that Ilva doesn't have her avatar. Tonya does. And what it is, it's a globally recognized avatar. When you go to somebody's blog, which we do in the TSA system, and you comment on that, at the bottom of the blog post, you'll be able to put your name, your website URL, and your email address in that field. And what will happen is, when you've got your avatar, the photo that you've got stored in this system here, will be pulled in to the blog automatically. So once you've registered with Gravatar, it happens automatically so you don't have to do it. So let me show you how to actually get this set up. I'm gonna set up a Gravatar for one of my other businesses, my guitar teaching business. So if you come to gravatar.com and come down to login and sign up, come in the drop down box, go to sign up, put in your email address. I'm gonna use Gavin at online guitar lessons .co .uk. double check that online guitar lessons .co .uk. click on sign up okay it says confirmation email sent we've sent an email to the email address you just registered so now what i need to do is i need to go over to my email address and confirm that email so i come on over to my gmail account which my email address brings the emails into and here it says, welcome to Gravatar. To activate your account, simply click on the link below or paste into your URL. So I'll click on this link, which opens up a new page. And it says here, finish creating your account by choosing your finishing touches here. So you add your username, your password, and then your password again. So I'm gonna enter a username. I'm gonna use Gavin's guitar. And I'm gonna click on check to make sure that username is available, which it is then enter a password and then confirm that password and click on sign up. Now I'm just going to add this to my RoboForm to store my passwords. So I'm going to store that in this profile here and click on the sign up button, which allows me to now sign up to Gravatar. So what we need to do now is add our profile image to our Gravatar. So it says manage Gravatars here. And if it says, I don't have an image yet, add one by clicking here. So I click on that button, which opens up. So I can get my image now from my computer's hard drive, an image on the internet, if I've got one on Facebook already, a webcam image that's attached to the computer or a previously uploaded image. I'm gonna get one from my computer's hard drive, so I'll click there. Then I'll browse to find that image. We just paste in the path to the image that I want which is here. Let me just find the image I'm going to use. I'm going to use Gavin Mountford profile. So I'll click on that and open and then click on next to upload the image. There's the image right there. So now I can drag this to change. I can crop the image. So there's more of my face. So people can see me a bit more. Just uh, grab this again, drag it. Okay, I'm happy with that. Now, ideally you want your face or you, your profile, so people get to know you better. Click on crop and finish. And now there is my face, my gravatar, my avatar. Rate this as it should be. Mine is a G, which is suitable for display on all websites. So I'll click on the G. And that rates my gravatar. So now every time I comment, so let's say I go over here, back to the TSA Mastery blog and I comment here in the bottom. When I put my name in, I put the email address in that I've got registered with Gravatar and depending on which business you're promoting, you can have multiple accounts set up. 
But let's say I wanted to comment, I wanted to promote my guitar teaching business on websites and on blogs when I comment, then I'll put my email address as that one I just registered, which was gavin at onlineguitarlessons.co.uk. And then the website I would use would be onlineguitarlessons.co.uk. So when I submit my comment there, it, it may not work right now because it takes a little while to be um, populated and to be recognized, but it'll work in a couple of hours. But when I put my comment there, it's gonna show up. Here's, here's one I've already set up, Gavin Mountford here. There's my Gravatar right there with my photo. This is for the TSA Mastery business. So it's, it's very straightforward. So I've added my photo, added my email address, and then every time I use this email address in blog comments, it brings up my photo that I have registered with it. As I said, you can change it. You can play around with the settings in my account, etc. You can add other photos. You can add other email addresses. But it's very powerful, and I definitely recommend using it because when you comment, you're branding yourself. And if people can see you, it looks so much better than seeing those blank faces that we see right here. And that just shows that somebody is probably fairly new and they haven't worked out um, why to use it. So this is credibility. This is ultimately credibility for you. So if you're pretending to be some kind of expert, but you don't have your Gravatar set up, then people aren't gonna believe that you're that expert. Again, if you've got any questions, if you've got any comments, as always, leave them below this post. Um, practice your commenting skills um, like we do in TSA. And uh, questions or comments, let me know, and one of us will reply very quickly. Gavin Manford here, co-founder of TSA Mastery. I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.